Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. We're talking public relations today and we're with Brittany Price from BC Public Relations from California. And Brittany, welcome to the conversation today. Hi, Howard. Thank you so much for having me today. Well, it's our pleasure. So you've been involved in the public relations industry for a while. Why don't you tell us how you initially got started? Yeah, absolutely. So I got started in public relations. Actually, I was one of those weird anomalies in college. I studied it. Uh, I honed my my craft in college. I had some internships. Um, I graduated and actually ended up at an event agency in Washington, D.C., right out of school. Uh, This was back in like 2011, right when the economy was a little shaky. And as we all know, ad budgets and event budgets are often the first to get cut, uh, you know, when you're working in this agency, um, agency world. And so, yeah, I actually uh, moved to a midsize agency come 2012. Um, I started off as a social media coordinator. This was back when social media was just blossoming um, and really uh, had the opportunity to work under some some champions in the public relations space. Um, I call them giants. And uh, uh, ever since then, I, I got to grow. Um, I By the time I left that agency in 2015, I was managing a team of about uh, 10 other specialists and had you know worked under a portfolio of about a million dollars worth of revenue. We were representing brands such as Sassoon Salon, North America, the Maple Guild, um, Mamont Vodka. So really had an opportunity to work under some of the biggest CPG and beauty brands. So really, really grateful for that opportunity. So that was a, a tremendous experience right off the bat from your, uh, your college career into your actual uh, career working with a great agency. And th- that really helped set the roots for you kind of branching out and starting off on your own, it seems. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I had no intention of becoming a you know business owner or even owning my own agency. Um, honestly, I, I wanted to freelance for a couple of years, travel a little bit. Um, and was fortunate enough to have a few brands come to me um, just through word of mouth and referral. Actually, 95% of our business is through referral and word of mouth, which is such a gift in this, in this industry. And so, yeah, we, um, I really didn't, you know, over the first couple of years of of building a business, um, I had no intention of growing it. It was just going to be me until last year, uh, actually, COVID hit um, and we had a, a ton of uh, brands that actually needed a, a lot of help with crisis communications in, in the last you know two years with COVID um, in, in the racial reckoning that happened in 2020. So uh, we were fortunate enough to bring on some additional help um, to really inspire and grow these brands to start doing the, the tough organizational change that needed to happen over the course of the last two years. So it's been a privilege. It's a gift to, to start a business and to hire others. So I'm just I'm grateful to be here. And the last couple of years really gave you some great experience in crisis control more than anything else, because there were a lot of different crises of bringing of the, that brought these clients onto you, even though the individual needs weren't maybe at crisis level, but they needed to uh, yeah. be your services and uh, probably strengthen your staff and, and what you're able to do and, and, and time periods of how to do it. Oh, you're spot on, Howard. Um, actually, one of the brands that we represented was a hand sanitizer brand, believe it or not. Uh, this was before COVID hit. And um, we actually got a phone call from the New York Times. Um, they wanted to do a, a story on hand sanitizer. This was March 2020. Uh, so I put the reporter you know, on, on the phone with the, the CEO of the hand sanitizer company. Lo and behold, the story lands a week later, you know, the website breaks, they, they run out of hand sanitizer and they're, you know, trying to get their shipments in, you know, to, to help alleviate, you know, the public crisis that's happening. That was COVID at the time, um, still is. And so, yeah, I mean, we had these like Cinderella stories like that of like this, you know, brand that was chugging along, you know, they were, they were just growing very slow. And then all of a sudden this pandemic hits and, and it's like an extreme growth. And like, how do you manage and scale that growth? And how do you communicate in a way that's, um, you know, appropriate in the midst of a pandemic? And then, you know, we had some other brands that were struggling with community relations and how do you appropriately communicate during the midst of something that has never happened before. And really what it came down for us is let's get back to basics. Let's lead with empathy. Let's, uh, you know, let's, be transparent um, in the midst of something that's incredibly difficult, um, and really let's let's help to you know showcase goodwill in the midst of something that 
you know, might not ever happen again. And, and hopefully it doesn't. Um, but in the meantime, let's let's link arm in arm and, and walk through this together. You know, not only with our consumer audiences, but with our employees, everything I say, everything is PR, you know, whether it's internal communications or external communications or, you know, advertising, really, it matters as like, does your message matter? Is it hitting the right target audience? And is it happening in the channel that matters most to your audiences? Hitting your audience and making them part of the story and getting emotionally into what is being shared is, is, is of vital importance for any brand and making sure that your clients are messaging the right way and being in the right places really is a skill and uh, we're privileged that you're able to share your skills and, and, and really what you've experienced over the past year plus with us today and, and thank you for joining us. Awesome, thank you so much Howard. And thank you for joining us today. Public relations and having the right response to issues that come up is extremely important. Make sure that conversation is going on even before that really helps you be more real when those situations do occur. So people like Brittany really are a, a very powerful tool in, in what you are doing as a, uh, as a business and marketing yourselves. So definitely learn more about her here on Daily Ad Brief. But go on, have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.